going on guys i come to you from ohio state truck sales in sandusky ohio and i am looking at a truck right now so uh yeah we're uh, just waiting on an approval from the bank on it i sold my cascadia and um yeah we're here at ohio truck sales uh we'll see how it goes we haven't gotten i've gotten approval for the amount they just have to uh, approve the uh, truck itself um, so we're just waiting to see but it's a beautiful one I'm telling you 2005 Peterbilt 379 extended hood what's going on guys so yes i am up here right now in sandusky ohio i have sold my cascadia and uh well i am looking to buy a peterbilt 379 that's the goal anyways so i sold the cascadia and uh, i've been home for the last week and a half we just had our newborn and back on the 21st she was born I came up here, I put a deposit on a truck up here, waiting on the approval of the truck um, from my lender. I've already got the approval for the amount. They just need to approve the truck itself. It's kind of difficult to get some to get these older trucks. Kind of got to jump through a few more hoops just because they can be low, they can be viewed as more of a liability in a bank's eye and a lender's eye. But the one I'm looking at, though, has 400,000 miles on an overhaul. And it has uh, new differentials, uh, a couple hundred thousand miles on differentials, um, about 100,000 miles on the 18-speed transmission, and a new turbo. I want to say 300,000 miles on the turbo. It's a really dark blue truck, um, kind of a midnight navy-ish blue and the tires are tires are brand new you can tell by walking around those suckers are those suckers are still brand new they look they look like they've probably barely got ten thousand miles on them and it's a sharp looking truck you get up in there it looks like it's been very well maintained and uh i'm just excited uh to uh i'm excited to start a new chapter i'm really strongly considering uh buying another one and possibly from Ohio truck sales more than likely and uh hiring a driver and going from there that's kind of my goal right now i would feel a lot more comfortable with having a driver and an older truck um you know not having to worry about regen def and all that bull crap so that's kind of that's kind of my plan but i'm going to see how this truck goes and uh see how it pans out um and we'll just go from there it was a bummer too i was <clears throat> when i was sitting in this truck uh, looking at it keep hearing noises back there what the heck anyways when i was sitting in that truck looking around at it uh i was just you know i there was a an, another truck pulled in uh I, I guess it looked like one of the um one of the uh, uh, maintenance guys, uh, shop guys there, uh, was pulling it around to park it in the Peterbilt section. And it was a beautiful truck. Um, there's a picture I'll post of it here. Uh, it really caught my eye. I think it was a 98, so it was pre-e-logs. And the company I'm leased to allows pre-e-log trucks, which is amazing, by the way. Um, PDP Trucking. Uh, they allow pre-e-log trucks. Um... So I was looking, uh, that it, it really caught my eye, uh, you know, has the uh, 3406 ECAD in it. Uh, and uh, I walked right over to it after the uh, shop guy parked it. I was looking around at it. Um, 
it was the dinette uh, model, so I had the the uh, dinette table and stuff in the in the sleeper, and it wasn't on their website, so it hadn't even been listed yet. So I went on inside and I had the stock number for it from the windshield, and I talked to the guy, my salesman, and uh, he said that he looked it up and it was sold. <laughs> so. Apparently somebody bought it before it ever even went to the lot, so I'm not really sure why they even put it on the lot to begin with. Um, but that was kind of a bummer because it was a, it's a gorgeous truck. I really liked it. I mean, the truck I'm looking at, it's basically just an all original style Peterbilt, which is what I want. And over time, I can do some stuff to it. I can make it my own. Um, and it's, it's got the the stainless rails on the bottom of the uh, sleeper and the cab where they had chicken lights. And I guess they took the chicken lights off, but uh, that's fine with me. That'll make it easier for me to just buy some chicken lights to put them on and buy the ones that I really want and put them on that way. You know, I can just, the sky's the limit. Um, they took the fairings off too, off the back of the sleeper um, to give it kind of that longer look, more of a stretched frame look to it. But I was surprised the frame, it's not all pitted. You know, it looks like it's been repainted, obviously, but... Even if, if the frame's been in bad shape, you can't hide the pitting from the rust. But it's not pitted, really. It's you know, It seems to be in extremely solid shape. This particular truck has a lot of maintenance records uh, to show for it. I took it for a drive, and it drives beautifully. Straight as narrow down the road. Not a single vibration. It shifts smooth. Um, it drives better than... Well, it drives better than my Cascadia did. And that's no, and that, that was a, that's a 15, 10 year difference. And the power, you know, it's a rated at 500 horsepower, but it says it's got a 500 horsepower C15 in it. Um, how true that is, I don't know. If it's, I don't know how real the numbers are. It could be higher, it could be lower. Um, but it definitely has plenty of power, in my opinion. Big difference. And so, uh, I was dealing with a guy named Reese today, but that's only because the salesman that I was dealing with wasn't there today he was uh i'm not sure what he was doing but i think he'll be there tomorrow i hope because i really do like him uh tim so uh i hope he's there and uh we'll just go from there yeah i'm just excited as i'll get out right now as you can tell i'm in a hotel room right now i'm at the holiday Inn express by cedar point um but i'm pumped <laughs> i really hope this works because i i'm just really i've I'm just excited now, yeah, I'm super excited, and I have, I, I have so many more aspirations now for what I want to do um, if this pans out well. So, to some people, it's just another truck, but to me, it's like opening a new door, and um, I'm just, I'm just beside myself with excitement. Um, but anyways, we'll talk to you guys uh, maybe tomorrow, and cross your fingers that uh, this video ends on a good note. What's going on guys? We're back at the uh, dealership this morning. Uh, I'll probably do some looking around some more, but uh, we're just waiting to hear still yet from the, the lender about the truck I'm here to look at. So we'll just have to wait and see what goes on. I'm uh, still a little, still pretty pumped about what's going on. So let's wait and see. Now, one thing to make note of, if you ever come here to Ohio Truck Sales, is uh, when you're walking around looking at them, if they have this little orange sticker on the bumper, that means it's uh, got a deposit on it, <clears throat> and they uh, are required to hold that truck, I think, seven days uh, for the uh, potential buyer to make uh to come through with financing uh and to come up and see it and if they don't come up within that seven days uh, the deposit falls off the truck and it's back on the market the, um, the majority of these trucks have deposits on them already uh any of them that are worth a you know worth a dart anyway have deposits um as you can see with the one that i'm looking at it's got the orange sticker on it and that's for me a thousand dollar minimum deposit it is non-refundable um but you can use it you can take that deposit off of the truck you initially put it on and you can put it on another truck if you want to um and it'll stay here as long as 
it'll stay here until you buy a truck. So if you don't find the truck you want, you can just move it, keep moving it from truck to truck if you want to. But here's the one I'm looking at though. And the sunlight, that blue looks pretty decent. I just said that whole thing and it wasn't recording. Anyway, something that Ohio Truck Sales has a lot of are these big sleeper trucks. Um, the majority of them do not have a deposit yet. And I'd imagine that's just because they're not very practical unless you have a dedicated account uh, for something. But uh, this one here really stands out. It's a gorgeous uh, Peterbilt, 1998. I mean, the paint job on this thing is amazing. I, I, at least I assume it's a paint job. Really something else. Look at those stacks. Those are huge. These have to be eight inch at least. That is something else right there, man. I was looking at it yesterday. When you uh, look on the inside, even the floor, even the floor on this thing Look at that, even the floor is painted to match the outside. How cool is that? Of course you got all that stuff back there. It's a nice truck. Attention to detail was not lost when they came up with this truck idea. And the paint scheme and everything, it's really something. Yeah, I mean, like, all kinds of purple accents everywhere to match it. I just, it's a nice truck. If I was looking for a big sleeper truck, this would be on the top of my list. It's gorgeous. Here, yeah, there's one of their big sleepers there. Uh, I got a nice Kenworth over here. But I think the Kenworth is sold. Another big sleeper. Yeah, the Kenworth is sold right there. Huh. There's that green truck right there. My green and white. Yeah. Beautiful truck. But apparently it's sold. I really don't know why it's even on the lot still. God, that thing is a sharp truck. I might I think my salesman's here today. I might actually ask him directly. Uh, he seems to be a little more of a seasoned salesman here. So maybe he can kind of go over it with me more as to why it's here. So they got these trucks running right now to warm them up. That one right there, man. I love that. that. That's just a beautiful combo. That green and white, it looks spectacular. <clears throat> I really like this truck. It's just a shame that it's sold. Uh, apparently, it's sold. They don't, it, doesn't, it just doesn't say anything about it being sold. That's the one that, that's a gorgeous truck. Beautiful truck, man. I just don't know. I don't know how this one, like I said, they like say it's sold. This thing's nice, man. This thing is really nice. You got all kinds of green accents in here. It's a beautiful truck. Look at that. See, it's got the dinette in the back which folds into a bed. It's got a newer refrigerator. I mean, everything works on it that I could tell. Um, it's really a nice truck. Let's see if we can see if we can start her up here. I think I turned off the battery when I was with it yesterday. Let's try starting her up. See how this one sounds. 
Oh man, this is nice. Look at this, man. This is a gorgeous truck. Oh, this is a push button start, old school. Turn the key to turn on the ignition. And then, I don't know, let me try using it out the clutch and see if it'll start. Oh, listen to that. It's a nice truck. Very nice truck. Oh man. Thirty four oh six E cat. Sleeper is really amazing. Yep, not bad. This will shut her off. Like I said, if it is somebody else's truck, they won't want us messing in it. Really, uh, I love that green, man. That's a gorgeous green. Hmm. Let's go look at the truck that I'm looking at. It is a cold one out here, but here she is. Good, hasn't been started yet. All right, let's uh, make sure she's in neutral. All right, let's make sure here. Oh yeah, she's in neutral. All right. Like I was saying, they took the fairings off and it gives the truck a little bit more of an elongated look. Nice tires. I mean, look at these tires. These tires have a ton of tread. Air slide, fifth wheel. I feel like I should be one of their salesmen right now. <laughs> but it's a beauty. I love it. Still building up a little bit of air. It's a cold one this morning. Not sure exactly what was on this, what gauge was there. Uh, I don't know, maybe one of those digital thermometers. But uh, one thing I don't like about this is the steering wheel. I just it looks like something out of a an 80s Jaguar, and I don't really like it in the truck. I'd have to I'd, I'd, I'd replace that. But uh, other than that. not 
not bad. Well, PSI is at 60, not bad for as cold as it is. Yep. I have yet to figure out what these switches are for. Only thing I can think of is that maybe there's a, there's a couple beacon lights up here on the mirrors that I must have uh, used, been used to pull wide loads and things. So there's a couple beacon lights and I think uh, maybe they operate those but I've turned them on and I haven't seen the lights come on so I'm not sure. Alright, where's the PSI here? Here's the PSI. So the first PSI tank is good and the secondary one is coming up. windows both sides yeah right here power windows both sides it's even got power door locks in this thing it's kind of surprising to me seems like it's pretty well outfitted I have yet to figure out what this is for if I get it if I get this truck maybe somebody can tell me what it is oh garbage GPS okay yeah, that makes sense no GPS in here right now but okay I guess I should have looked at that closer. Uh, but yeah, it's not a bad truck. All the lights work on it. It looks like a very well maintained truck. I love these older 379s with this inlay on the door. See that little kind of rim design around this wood panel? I think they look really nice. Uh, only gauge that doesn't work is that fuel PSI gauge and as you can see it doesn't have a needle no big deal Whew. anyway yeah I might take it for another test drive here As you can see right here too, I was talking about the, uh, they have the rails on the bottom of the sleeper for uh, chicken lights and it looks like they had them on and they took them off. Here's what I'm talking about. You can see where it looks like they had lights on there and they just took them off. So it makes it easy for me. All I gotta do is find something that I want and put them on there. Can't really complain there. God, man, that blue though in the sunlight looks spectacular. Oh, I like that blue. Really, a lot. Oh, I just wanna hear back from this lender. So bad. And then I, all I gotta do is go to the bank and get a check, cashews check for the uh, down payment. And if it all goes well, we'll be driving her home today. Let's see. Well, boys, it looks like this one actually isn't sold. So, we're going to go and take her for a spin. See how it drives. Let her warm up a minute. And we'll go from there. As you can see back here, it's got this uh, dinette here, which is really cool. And then this whole thing right there under the cabinets, this dinette here folds up into the wall, which is actually the bottom of the bed. And then 
you just pull the whole thing down and all this becomes your bed so that's not too bad and I like this right here too I like how they don't have a cabinet here they have a door right there and there's space for whatever you want to put in there if I want to put a bigger refrigerator I can do that they even got a handle right there I'm not really sure if it's uh, I'm not sure why but uh, it's like almost a grab to get in and out of but yeah ain't bad soon I'll ask for the lights back here which actually work and then you got the refrigerator not bad and all right a little warm up a bit take it for a little drive she definitely drives pretty nice this is again that blue one custom Let's see if I can figure out how to open these doors this has, this has a suicide door setup shaved door handles uh, <laughs> I don't know where you see look here's the hinges the hinges are right here that's crazy. I don't know how you open it. There, uh, I have no idea how that opens. How do you open this? There. Can you pierce on there? No. I have no clue how, how this opens. Interesting. But yeah, it's pretty cool though. All custom. The inside's really neat too. I've seen pictures. I want to get up in there and look at it. Got an inverter. I want to know how you open that door. Now I'm intrigued. Do you need a remote? I wonder. Huh. I figured it out. Sneaky, sneaky. Right here. The little button right there. <laughs> Look at that. That's how you do it. <laughs> that is awesome. That is really cool. Look at that. That's a pretty good workmanship right there. It looks pretty neat man this is uh interesting uh, a lot of orange I couldn't do the orange
I'm not a fan of all this orange, but that is really cool. I mean, look at all that. That's amazing. Wow. Huh. That's neat. Really neat. That sucker's cool as heck. Yeah, that's nice. I love how they incorporated the switch right in there. I don't know what they're gonna do for a block heater now, but that's kind of neat. Huh, cool man, that's really, it's not my taste, but it's a job well done. Very nice. <laughs> wow, that's something else. Yeah, like I said, guys, these are not bad trucks. They're just old trucks, and you got to keep an open mind when you're looking at an old truck. I think this one is no six. I like it. I kind of like that color, like a canary yellow or something like that. Um, but just you got to know when you look at these things, they're not going to be brand new. And this one's in pretty good shape, and I think they're only asking about 60, 60 or 65 for this one. I mean, these tires look good. Got plenty of tread on them. See, I'd, I would, uh, if I were looking for another truck, like a second truck to buy right now, I would consider this one. That ain't too bad. I'm missing a climate vent or climate control knob, but it's not a big deal. I mean, it's not bad. 13 speed. You know, I mean, you're going to see scuffs like that black there where the paint for the uh, dashboard's coming off. and You're going to see that in these older trucks. You just are. It's inevitable. This one doesn't even smell that bad. <laughs> see here, how this one sounds. The battery's on. Yep, battery is on. Just let the glow plugs warm up a little bit. We'll start her up. dinette model you can tell the dinettes by the outside if you don't know by simply looking back here on the passenger side sleeper they have these long access doors that go into the inside of the sleeper 
and then there's nothing there just opening it's a pretty one I think they're asking this one's got a deposit I believe they're asking about 89 for this one probably because it's a dinette so the dinettes are selling for a little more they're worth a little bit more a little storage area right there is kind of nice the tires are decent on this one too kind of a pretty color like a champagne i like it does have a deposit, so uh, yeah, it's not bad though. Nice little trip computer right there. I wouldn't spend 90 on it myself, but it's a nice truck. It's a little more than the one I'm looking at. It's a nice shade of blue on that one. This one is spoken for, well, as far as the deposit goes. I like the tan. I like lighter colors on the interior. This one's got the tan. Mine's got gray. I like the wood armrest up here though. Looks good. Mine's just got the black. The one I'm looking at just has the black armrest. I believe this one they're asking about a hundred for. Yeah, not worth it in my opinion. a newer 389 which that by the way the one over there with the dinette that I was talking about just showing you it had the same headlights as a 389 but it wasn't a 389 they don't make the dinette with a 389 I think they stopped making the dinette around 2001 or 2002 This one is a 10 speed. I think this one they're asking like 134,000 for. You don't have the prices on the paper on the windshield. You got to go to their website. Key's not in here either. Typically, oh, here's the key. Typically, they leave the keys in here just like this. I must have the batteries turned off. This one kind of stinks. This kind of has that kennel smell. Hmm. That's not bad. But I am just trying to steer clear of DEF and DPF trucks anymore. See the sleeper on this looks bigger. These are supposed to be like a oh it's got a little vent up there. That's kind of cool. These are supposed to be a 78 inch sleeper and the mine is a 70. This doesn't look that much bigger. Hmm. Uh, of course this has a Cummins ISX in her. Not bad. Oh, yeah. 
I like this one way more. See, like I was saying before, I love, I love on these older Peterbilts that wood or plastic, whatever. I'm sure, it's plastic. This plastic wood, faux wood inlay looks a lot better, I think, than the newer ones. I used to like the newer ones more, but over the last couple years, this interior has really grown on me. What's in here? Got triangles, got the fire extinguisher, which is in the green, so that's good. I like this too. I could put my I think I can put my load locks in here all the way through, I think. See, then you got this side over here. It looks like it's got the uh, subwoofer right there for the stereo. Going all the way to the other side. Yeah. Like a tether to keep that from flying back in the wind. But. Well, it looks like we've done it. We got confirmation from the lender. They're cooking up the paperwork. Looks like I might be the proud new owner of an 05 Peterbilt 379. I love it. I, I may not look it that much, but I haven't been this excited about something in a long time. In a long time. It's just a beautiful truck. Start this up here. See if we can, like I said, it's kind of quiet. These pipes are. I could probably do something about that eventually. Yep. This is a truck right here that pretty much as long as I'm driving, I'm going to want to keep. These aren't your throwaway trucks, you know what I mean? Okay, this isn't too bad of a hotel room at all. <laughs> Had to get another hotel room because, well, uh, paperwork's not ready. Uh, but I came back to the same place, but the hotel room is just completely different than my last night's stay. Oh, not bad for a Holiday Inn Express. And this one's kind of cool. I was like, how do you raise and lower the blinds? Check this out. Look at that. Boom. Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. Look at that, though. Holy cow. What's this one raise? Oh, didn't work. Try it again. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, that's going too far. <laughs> so, stop it here. There we go. We'll go back over that one. Wow, that's cool. Mm. 
not too shabby. All right, now let's go get some dinner. I'm hungry. I'll raise this one back up too, I guess. All right, well, this is still the same video, but for me, it's been about a week, a week, yeah, since I was at the dealership um, trying to buy that Peterbilt. I'm still buying it. Uh, the paperwork took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Apparently, the person that draws up the paperwork was on vacation, and nobody knew. So I spent three nights in a hotel at 100 bucks a night expecting the paperwork to be done the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day, and it wasn't. So not really anybody's fault necessarily, just uh, some info that failed to be brought up apparently somewhere. So I guess that would make it somebody's fault. Anyway, uh, they wired the money over to the dealership today, and we are heading up there tomorrow to pick up the truck. And then at Ohio Truck Sales, they don't do oil changes before they put them out. Uh, and they do that so that you can get an oil sample, things like that if you want to. Um, but uh, I'm gonna take it to my shop, uh, which is an awesome shop, cheap labor. I love it, and they do a great job. Keith's Truck and Trailer, just a shameless little plug for them in Rushi, Ohio. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take my truck there, uh, and uh, which is like two and a half hours from Sandusky. Two hours, two and a half hours, maybe two. Bring my truck there, which is my which my trailer is there, which. <laughs> That's a whole other story in and of itself. Parts and back orders, I swear. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to take my truck there and have them do an oil change, send the oil out for an oil analysis so I can get a good base point for where I'm starting at with this truck. Um, the front brake shoes might need replaced, um, and they're doing a DOT on it uh, to be to make my company happy. Um, so they're gonna do the DOT on it. Um, and if there's time, they're gonna put a new inverter in because I sold my old inverter with my truck. So they're gonna put my, they're gonna put a new inverter in this truck. And I think that's really about it. And then I'm playing, I just changed it, even though I haven't picked the truck up yet. I just changed my 2290. I did the um, credit, uh, uh, application uh, thing to get you know whatever it's called i don't know you basically you swap the truck from the truck that you had before on there i did that so now i'm 2290 legit with my new truck and then uh yeah we are going to uh like i said drop it off tomorrow and get some work cool thing about keith's is too they have rental cars there and uh usually they have one available they told me they'll have one available tomorrow so I'll be able to grab that and drive it home. And then on Saturday, oh. and then on Saturday, I'm gonna drive back up there, grab it either Saturday or early Sunday morning. And then I'm going to Bobtail all the way to Texas from Ohio um, because they have a trailer that they will let me use while I'm waiting for one little part for my trailer. Um, so they're gonna let me use a, another trailer basically free of charge. So that's pretty cool. Um, hell, it's cool they even have a trailer available. I'm surprised they even have one available. It's been super hard for them to even come by dry vans or reefers, but they actually have one right now and they're holding it for me because they know I need a trailer. So yeah, what happened with my trailer was it has an ABS module um, and the ABS module went bad and it's due for the quarterly for the company. And so they basically red flagged the trailer um, because the ABS module needs replaced and they can't, there are no ABS modules right now. They're all back ordered. So um, technically it's not within DOD compliance to be pulled anywhere. Um, even though I just, while it was in here, I spent money on new brakes for it, um, you know, and all kinds of stuff uh, to make it, you know, just to update it, but they am, ABS modules out um, so we gotta wait till that comes in but like I said DOT or PDP is giving me a trailer to use until then so that's pretty swell it's just gonna hurt to have to bob or deadhead all the way or not deadhead bobtail all the way down there 
Um, and uh, I could get, I mean, and, and too, I use their plates, so I'd have to go down there anyway without a load um, because I had to get their plates and I have to get a Texas DOT on it to get their plates. So, yeah, but we're good to go. Uh, we're going to go pick up my truck tomorrow and what the hell? Huh. Stepped in some water. So we're going to pick up my truck tomorrow and then we're good to go. So we'll be there tomorrow. What's up, guys? So, uh, yeah, we're just about to my truck now. We're going to drive it down to, uh, to Texas. Yeah. I'm a little nervous because I just don't know this truck. You know, I mean, it's one thing, even it, it's one thing when you're used to a truck, even if you know there might be issues with it, but you're used to it, you know what to expect. I don't know what to expect with this truck. So, uh, we'll see, but uh, that'll all be for another video. Um, I'm just, you know, really praying that we get down to Texas all right with it. Uh, yeah, we uh, had the shop do some stuff to it. They had to uh, rewire the sleeper lights, those utility lights on the back of the sleeper. And uh, they had to uh, remove and replace a rusted out elbow on the exhaust um, and a wheel seal. Uh, they had to replace a wheel seal. So they got all that stuff done for me. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, but yeah. Talk to you guys later.